Hi, I'm Kevin from Going Batty. Uh, it's been raining so much here, it feels like we should start getting a boat ready with a bunch of extra animals and putting them in there. Um, but seriously, today we have a special treat. We're going to show you how to make beef and barley soup, which is phenomenal on a cold and rainy day. Um, check this out. You're going to love it. All right, we have about a pound, a pound and a half of ground beef here. Uh, you can use like stew meat and stuff, but I have found that um, my kids actually don't like the stew meat. Um, they find it too stringy and chewy and stuff like that. So we're just gonna use the ground beef and brown that up and get that going. We're going to just let that go for a few minutes and get all brown. Uh, the vegetables we're going to put in this is we're going to do an onion. We're going to do um, garlic. I have about, I don't know, it probably would be three fairly good sized cloves of garlic. I got a bunch of little ones there. Um, your carrots, your celery, your potatoes, and um, your cabbage. So we're going to cut up like the, we're going to cut up the onions and press the garlic first and then do the rest of it because this is going to go in the, um, the, the ground beef. Uh, that onion is mean, it's making me cry. I'm going to go ahead, the meat is brown now, I'm going to dump the garlic in the, um, in the onions in here and I'm going to let them get translucent. Um, this ground beef didn't have a whole lot of, um, it didn't have a whole lot of grease to it, so, um, and we're just going to mix that up and let that brown. I know it looked like that there was a lot there, but there actually wasn't, it just all kind of pulled in one place, but, um. We're going to let that kind of flavor the meat. And then we're going to go back and cut up the carrots and the celery and then dump that in there. All right, so now we're going to throw in um, your carrots and your celery and let those cook for a little while. Um, I, there's a reason why I do them in the order that I do them. Um, it's to get the um, onion and garlic flavor kind of infused in with the meat. And then your carrots and your celery need a little longer to cook than like your cabbage. Um, and your potatoes kind of cook in the broth when after you put them in. So we're going to let those cook for a while. I cut up the cabbage and the, um, the potatoes. All right, so I did drain this a little bit. It started to have a little more grease than what I wanted, and I don't want greasy soup. Um, so uh, like just depending on the, the amount of fat that's in your ground beef, um, you may have need to drain it, but you may not. So now we're going to put our potatoes in. I cut up two potatoes. Don't want that. That's a hair. There's no extra charge, though. No. Okay, and we're going to mix that around. Sorry, I need to put in my spices. So um, I put dill in my um, in mine. I use about about a teaspoon. Um, I don't usually use measuring spoons when I make this, but it's around a teaspoon of dill. Um, around about a teaspoon of thyme. And if you have fresh, that's better. Um, with fresh, you have to add more. Um, than you do with the um, with the dried. So like if you were using a teaspoon of dill, if you were using it fresh, this is a parsley. If you were using a teaspoon of fresh dill, you would use a tablespoon of 
I'm sorry, if you were using a teaspoon of dried dill, you would, you would use a tablespoon of fresh dill. It's um, just different when it's fresh, right? Yeah. You have to use more of it? Yeah, it's more concentrated when it's, <laughs> when it's been dried. And then we're going to put some salt and pepper in. And we'll have to salt and pepper it to taste at the end. But just to start out with. Get those flavors infused. Yes. And we're going to move to a, a bigger spoon. Cool. So there we go. Just this is one of our favorite soups. And during the wintertime, it's tough to get your hands on fresh stuff that's affordable. We have a family of six, so we have to do things the smart way. And now we're going to add in our, um, our beef stock. And there are times when we have to use beef stock from a container, but yeah. um, as we learn how to homestead, we're going to learn how to make beef stock as yeah. well. We already make our own chicken stock. I, I do know how to make beef stock, but around here it's really hard to find like the um, the bones that you make broth with. Like we don't have a whole lot of just butchers around here. Um, they So to get those beef bones that you need, you have to buy like spare ribs and things like that. And that actually makes it a more expensive meal if you do it that way. So it's actually less expensive for us just to buy the stock. So um, we're going to let this come to a simmer. And then um, once that's done, we'll add the cabbage in and then we'll add the barley in. All right. So this has been cooking for about like simmering for about like 15 or 20 minutes. The potatoes are almost done. Um, the broth is cooked down. So I'm, I'm actually going to add another quart of broth to it so that we have enough liquid to cook the barley in. Fresh out of the box. Yep. I made it from scratch. I scratched it out of the box. And then um, one thing I did forget to add when I was adding my um, my spices is I forgot to put uh, a couple of bay leaves in there. So we're going to do that right now. There is one right there. There's already, already one in there. So but we're going to add two or three. There you go. Ta-da! Ta we call those the prizes. When anybody yeah. picks those out, they get to do the dishes at the end of the night. That's because you're the winner. You won. The worst prize ever. <laughs> All right. So um, the next thing that we're going to add is the cabbage. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add the cabbage in. Ah, cabbage. And you can put whatever vegetables you want. I mean, I know some people put tomatoes in there. Um, ah. My family is not a big fan of no! cooked tomatoes. <laughs> My husband especially is not a big fan of cooked tomatoes. They have to be in sauce or ketchup form for him to eat it. Or tomato soup. Or tomato soup form. Campbell's tomato soup form. To be specific. Blech. All right. So, and then we're also going to add a cup of barley. Now, you can use just the regular barley. I don't because Let's it takes... Let's get a shot of that real quick. Um, this is the the quick cook barley um, because the other kind takes like 45 minutes to cook and by that time um, your uh, your your potatoes will be all like super mushy so we're gonna go ahead and add that in and that barley kind of helps gives the soup a, a, not a super thickness but a little bit of a thickness to it um, you can add more or less depending on how much you guys like um, so yeah so we're gonna let that Come up to a boil and to cook for about 10 minutes. All right, so um, I just tasted it and it needed a little bit more salt in it. All right, so here's where the payoff comes. At the dinner table, great beef and barley soup. Let's have a look at it. Oh man, that looks awesome. some soupies in there. Guys, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. More updates as we go.